This is Covey Town. In Covey Town there's not a sound. No cars or drunks or fights around. And after you switch off the light, there's no one there to say good night. The days stretch on without an end. The Sainsbury's man's your only friend. The constant in your life is fear. You only feel safe when you're here. Some days the only way is down. So don't be me in Covid town. In Covid town the game is blame. Find someone else to take the pain. The young who lose a million jobs are labelled selfish Covid jobs. They're sent to university and when they're feeling young and free, they're locked down with a Covid key. So good for herd immunity. A ticket home cannot be found. So don't be young in Covid town. In Covid town you can't believe the lies that politicians weave. Remember that protective ring that really didn't mean a thing, that no care home had ever seen, the sick sent there and never screened. Partners, mums and dads and nans left holding a stranger's hands. They died with no loved ones around. So don't be old in Covid town. In Covid town you'll find the poor wondering what they're living for. No job, no home, no hope, no life. Existing where disease is rife. There's not enough for free school meals, yet millions for dodgy deals. The hungry children cry at night, their mothers reaching for the light. You'll never hear a sadder sound. So don't be poor in Covid town. In Covid town neglect and lies have cost so many wasted lives. 100,000 people dead, yet one week later nothing said. But there will be a price to pay, because the truth won't go away. What goes around comes around, in Covid town, in Covid town. What goes around comes around, and those to blame are going down in Covid town. Thank you. A duel. A duel was flung out from the heart of a star. It went hurtling through space, with all its tomorrows blazing around it. At its centre was a secret, a nucleus of jostling possibilities. Many galaxies expanded and collapsed. Many universes melted into each other. At last, at the end of its adventures, it passed through my future self, where I lay sleeping fitfully in my bedroom. And I dreamed a creature, my heart's desire, hard-skinned and delicate, let loose into the world, to tiptoe a path through constellations of grass stalks, feeling its way blind towards the shape of its name. The Freedom of the Dawn I love that dawn day, walking down the twisting hill. My red and white spotted handkerchief tied to a stick, slung over my shoulder with a certain abandon. I am athlete, hunter, strider of life. My helter-skelter steps create their own path, where many varied footprints have crisscrossed down the years. From the ancient treads of discovery embedded beneath the tarmac, to my own fresh, lighter ones, I dance with true clarity, the first woman alive. The leaves and buds and grass and life grow over the pavement like plasticine hair, squashed out of many moulds by laughing thumbs to give a one quick, definite push. The whole hill pulsates sensory completion, the deepest breath possible and the sweetest, fullest light. There are creatures everywhere. The birds rule the kingdom, except ruling is the last thing on their minds. 
for they have better ways to spend their time. Being, just being, the pure existence of wide full flutter and the sweet seesaw singing is everything. Golden in their rhythms, spin singing to the light. Everything welling up, juicy in its abundance of energy and peace. The volume of congruence turned full to maximum. Warm thermals lift me up now. Their cloak of love surrounds me. Yet still, green cushions of comfort are beckoning me to while away the hours. I could easily lie down and let the jungle cover me to rock me like a baby. But I am a child striding in my destiny. And somehow the earth embraces me, even as I move. Love the lush green jungle that you make by striding forward. No need to wonder why the earth creates its magic, its nourishment. It opens just for you. It bows with grace if blue sky flying and clear path walking are what you want to do. Goddess of easy alchemy, of ever willing transmutation, she welcomes each and every step on your chosen route. The rich mother has always loved an adventurer, and the power of the new. Somehow the years have put the fear in me. On this day, the earth recognises my steps of strong direction, like the voice of a lover from another life or time. She hears my heartbeat synchronising with her own completely. Until now, this day, I remember what it means to be free. Darkness. Darkness came out of darkness, tentative on soft footpaths. It did not want moon, it did not want sun, it did not want breathe, it did not want soul. It was hungry. In the dark, darkness hunched, whimpering, crouched on the landing trying to feed its scanty fur, its scrap of instinct. It listened to itself and heard the easy breathing, the rise and fall, steady and sleepy, ignorant and innocent. Inquisitive, it crept forward. It inched around the bedroom door. There, beneath the quilt, Two huddled forms. There on the pillows, two faces, almost touching. Almost like two candle flames guttering. Almost melting into each other. The stitched shut eyes. The washed clean consciences. Darkness slipped in between them. It snuggled down. It cuddled up close. It suckled on them, it drained them dry. Morning found two husks on the floor, and a bright insect fluttering out through the window. when everything changed. In the days before change, a fully formed field, solid with unending same, that was all that there was. Not fine scale like it is now, not variable, nor variegated. No one knew they were larvae, caterpillars were never seen. Yes, there were butterfly wisps, Blue clouding buff on blue, but these ones were flies that had always but a bean. Luxation only just forming, flexing, extending from all the bundled stuff of similar, breaking bonds of likewise. After the change set in, everything that was or could be thought up had a bright Russian dullness from crystals of chrysalis. 
each a fragment of a bigger whole, as if he could pick out a pizzicato at the sorrow points. Arising was twinned with passing away, and so the reverse got vice versa. In this the new norm, of this the new now, pupae were mutable, chemistry alchemical. In this the new norm, of this the new now, people knew they were pupae, knew they'd pupate. These walls are filled with magic. The sky sighs with love for the power of the earth. It is said a goddess pulses here, along her looping deep peace journey, a dragon of nurture. She is hailed by the crows, the stuff of jackdaw legends. I trace this path often through the ventricles of my own heart to the atriums of gentleness, where it all began. Wild flowers, fresh ivy, baby birds, to hear the silence beneath the sounds. There is an image of my father sitting on a chair in the centre of memories because there is a photograph I look at when facing life dilemmas. But though it is strange looking to him for guidance after continuing his cycle of absence. Sometimes in ambivalence I wonder would I have entered the revolving door of prison if he had been there to teach and listen. But then in the light of hindsight, I understand how no self-belief, low confidence and receiving no praise plays a very big part in offending. It is hard adapting to life when shy and having learning difficulties. So the little man hiding inside becomes a neglected child. And the outside, put on fronts, caused others to steer clear, but eventually, after being buried for so long, my inner child could no longer quietly hide in silence and had to break through a defensive shell hardened by loss of a daughter, breakups, addiction, dyslexia, trauma. But once the tight grip imprisoning my heart began to slip, there was no turning back. Reaching beyond self-interest with a newfound hope, altruism, took courage I did not know I had. But I began speaking vocabulary from heart instead of harsh, marginalised conditionings. A new narrative was introduced and my story started to change. In a dark place, I used support of arts as positive sources of light to heal relationships and help stay free from a dark chrysalis from which I struggled to emerge. And the more I used creativity to stay free. It was as a butterfly strengthening wings in supportive winds of change, until becoming strong enough to take a leap of faith from a long branch of the past and into a new future, where I began to plant seeds to grow new, sturdy, responsible trees. <laughs> <laughs> 